Yo guys, it's Corrales and welcome everybody to Can the Animals Please Shut Up? Welcome everybody to the Minecraft Vehicle Tutorial Series, longest derpiest name ever. In yesterday's episode, we built a hot rod and there was mixed opinions about this. Some people were like, why did you mix the wool blocks? Everybody, that is something which should represent flames on a hot rod. I like it. The chicken pretty much liked it. He just walked away from it now, but he did like it. I just saw him liking it. She, he's even pooping. He's even pooping eggs. That is how much he like it. And in today's episode, we're gonna build something really amazing. I built about a year ago. I built an RV. There's gonna be a link in the description for that video. But I built an RV, and you guys seem to really like that. So in today's episode, we're gonna build a bigger RV. It's gonna be a home on wheels, designed by Polly4499 on the World of Kerala server with tweaks. I'm sorry, Polly, I tweaked some stuff, all right? But hopefully you guys will enjoy it. We're gonna start off by placing some coal blocks. We're gonna place one here. Then we're gonna jump away, three blocks, and on the third one, we're gonna place the next wheel. Button, two block gap in between, don't fail. Item frame and white stained window penis on this side and one on this side. Now, uh oh, now this is really important. Now we're gonna jump away from the front wheels. We're gonna be counting, counting with Kerala's incoming one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and on the fifteen, we're gonna add the first wheel on the back. Jump away two blocks or three blocks, and on the third one, add that other one. Now we're just gonna have one block in between here and here. So that's gonna be the rear wheels, right? You can't fail it from above. It's looking something like this. And here, do the same. Button, button. Button, button. Item frame, item frame. Stain, white stained window pin is here and there and the same on this side. So item frame, item frame, bam and bam. So next step is pick up some stone slabs I guess could work and then we're gonna move on here from the front move away two blocks from the front wheel like this and then let's just set a perimeter all right so two blocks away and then just close it off go all the way here to the back uh -oh, to the back wheels and move away two blocks from the back wheel here and then just turn and just close it off in the front in between this uh oh, we are gonna add stone slabs. So now we should be having something looking like this. And please do bear in mind, there's 14 blocks in total in between the rear wheel here and this wheel in the front here. The next step is, I'm gonna be using some quartz. You don't have to do it, but I'm gonna be using it, all right? And it goes something like this. Full block, full block, so two full blocks. Now we're gonna place an upside down quartz star here, which is gonna be representing like the wheel arch and then the next full block. So four blocks in total so far. Here is gonna be a little door in the future, so I'm gonna delete that and place a slab of course, just so I know there's gonna be a door here in the future. Then, full block, full block. So now in total, we got six blocks from the front. Now it becomes a bit funky. We're gonna take this out by one block, and this is gonna be like, you know, some RVs got them like retractable sides and stuff. This is one of them. And this is gonna be six blocks in total. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Take two blocks on the inside, and now we're gonna take it out again. This one is gonna be seven in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then just take it in. Now we can just twist this and do the same thing on this side. So seven blocks in total here, two on the inside, six blocks in total here, and then just close it off all the way to the front here. Leave the little gap to be here for now. Now, the only thing I'm gonna do here on the back, I'm gonna delete this one here and this one here and add those wheel arches because this is retractable, so this is gonna be going in. Uh, in real life, in game, it's not really going anywhere, but just to RP this, it looks something like this. And from above, we should be having this shape over here. I'm gonna pause here, it's gonna be a little awkward silence but I'm here, trust me. Now here on the front, I'm gonna just add two L furnaces. So let me just pick up a furnace, add one here and one here. This might be representing the air intake. I don't know, I have no idea how cars work to be honest, okay? Now, for the next step, I'm gonna be using soul sand. In this resource pack, it looks absolutely boss, but 
in default might look really derp, right? So I'm gonna start here, just one block away from the door. I'm gonna rise it up by one, two, and three. Next one, one, two, just above the wheel, and then just one, 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 turn it around, one, two, one, two, and three. So now we should be having this shape going over here. We're gonna make a little door frame, so bam, bam, bam. It's gonna be a little door in the future. And on this side, we're not gonna have any door, so let's just close it off like that. From the side, we should be having this little shape. Next thing, I'm gonna be using some normal glass, and that's gonna be for the window here, all right? So add one, two, three, four, five, and six around the little edge over here, looking like this. And then on the front, full blocks of quartz stairs. Uh, I mean, full blocks of quartz. <laughs> Derp. One, two, three, and four in total. Now take your court stairs facing that block, do this little shape going. Just for decorations, everybody, just for decoration, and the same on this side. So bam and bam. Looks like this. Now, if we take the court slabs, go one block in from the front, and then just place a perimeter going all the way across to the end, what we just built, all right? Looking like this from above. Really hard to see in the shaders mod, by the way. Now let's start adding some detail. Pick a lever. That should be a game name. Pick a lever. Hey, wanna play some pick a lever? Place one here, facing it downwards. Do the same on this side facing downwards. I'm gonna pick cyan stained window penises for this, because I kind of feel like it looks more like a mirror or something, so it's gonna be little side mirrors, all right? Here in the front, we're gonna add a ladder on this or a ladder on that. Could use some um, trapdoors as well, but that kind of works out anyhow. Item frame here, item frame here. That is gonna be filled with redstone lamp on this side and on this side. Now place a sign on that, and a sign on this. So now we have a little detail on the front looking like this. Here you can actually have like a like a license plate or just a, like a track name or something. And above here, just to keep it simple, two wooden buttons. It's for extra light or whatnot. Looks pretty, pretty decent anyhow. Here I'm gonna add one button of stone on this side and one of that on that side. Might be just for decoration, might be a door or whatnot. You never know, okay? So that is something we've done here. Now, let me just grab a door and place it over here with a ladder. And this is something which you could do. If you're on creative and you're gonna be flying into the vehicle, you can just place an upside down stair like this. So now you get a little, like a little staircase shape and then just place a door here and be all happy about it. In survival scenarios, this is gonna be impossible to enter. So therefore, we're gonna delete that Place a, a, place a full block with a ladder and the door just above. So now you, now you can just open the door, climb the ladder and be all happy about it, all right? Perfecto el mundo. For the next part, I'm gonna be using some soul sand, brown stained clay and brown wool. And this is mostly for the texture. You can just go one color on the whole thing, all right? But I'm gonna start off with soul sand. And I'm gonna place it here. One, two, three and four. Then I'm gonna use brown stained clay, one, two, one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, and six. Last one, soul sand. From the side, it looks something like this. And on those parts which goes out from the RV, we're gonna add some windows. So pick your soul sand, rise this up to three blocks in total, and then just take it all the way here and go down over here. Now, let's divide it over here. So we got one window here and two windows over here. And then just stick some window penises in them and we're all happy. Looks like this from the side. Over here, we're gonna add some brown wool. So brown wool here and the top layer by soul sand. As you can see, it kind of gives you some texture, otherwise it might look really bland just having it brown or something. So I, I kind of like it. Take your brown wool and build something like this. One, two, leave a gap, one. Then go back to your brown stained clay and one and two, just to finish it off. From the side, it looks something like this. This is gonna be the bedroom. There's gonna be a toilet, all right? Just for the future reference. So we're gonna add a normal window penis here. And in this gap, we might use a stained one because otherwise people can look in. It's gonna be really horrible. Bam. Perfecto el mundo. The top layer here is gonna be soul sand. One, two, three, and four. The rest of here is gonna be brown wool. One, two, and three. From the side, you should be having this shape. Now let's go to the back over here. 
here on the back we're gonna add a layer of quartz to start off with all right so we got two layers in total then just grab the brown stained clay one two three and four brown wool one two three and four in total and on this side we won't have any windows all right we will have here but not over here so let's just kind of duplicate the other other side and the style of it so we got as you can see here brown stained clay all, all over the way we got some brown wool and here we're gonna add one two and three out of the clay brown wool again and then just go for the soul sand and one two three and four in total so it should be looking like this we could tweak it as well just because just to make it look nicer we can take out the, the soul sand here or i mean the brown stained clay here but you know what i think this looks pretty decent anyhow might look kind of derpy here but we love it we love it now let's just continue so brown stained clay brown wool soul sand same shape as the other side and basically the same thing one two brown stained clay one two three and four of the soul sand and that's basically it just the soul sand and just duplicate the other side so you can see two window gap here and one over here so place it here and be all happy wappy about it window pin is here here and here so that is mainly our rv we need the roof we need to fix the back so let's just start with the back let's keep it really simple all right let's me add item frame for example with some redstone so item frame here item frame here redstone block redstone block and then maybe some sign i don't know make something which looks nice for you all right maybe some some buttons some about or maybe even a ladder going up you know just to keep it simple just to keep it simple that kind of looks pretty decent now doesn't it or maybe we could go with two buttons one over here and one over here just add some more detail above here you know what let's start oh first of all add a sign one sign here one sign over here one side on this side one side on that side mostly for just decoration and texture i guess not really any usage for it at this point but it kind of looks all right so one here and one here and when we start on the roof let me just grab uh, the core slabs so make a row here out of the core slab just like that and let's start here in the front okay because we don't want to really want to have any roof on top of that but because that kind of goes into the whole uh, rv all right so let's start here stairs going all the way across this and one block over so now we should have in total one two three four five six and seven let's turn to this side and do the same one two three four five six and seven just one block outside that little thing here all right add quartz slabs on top here quartz slabs on top here here in the middle let me just count the blocks first of all because we need to have some lighting in here right so you can see here we got one two three four and five in total so let's divide it up here and let's divide it up here as you can see now we can have some light maybe uh, we can use beacons if you're playing on survival me beacons might not be the way to go you can just use glowstone or something let's place the beacons here here in those gaps let's just grab some glass and place uh -oh. i always do that there we go glass here and glass over here so from above we should be having this shape going now if we go to this we have to think about that because here from the inside we can just grab let me just see here maybe some pop, 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 brown stained clay or something and we're gonna divide it up oh you know what let's grab the soul sand why not let's make it really dark and cozy uh, we're gonna divide this up like this just here in the middle of the between the windows let's build up a wall going all the way like this from the ground don't worry about this yet we can actually delete that we're gonna have some flooring here in a later stage but let's just divide that up so we have a little little wall here so we can go into a little bathroom so now if we think we need to have a little window or light in here and we need to have some light in here so what i'm gonna actually do i'm gonna grab the stairs and build something out of this i'm gonna go with the stairs all the way maybe to about here and then just turn them around like this just one block away from the structure we just built and then just add slabs so we have this structure here with the stairs going one row of slabs and then just this here with the stairs turning around so looking like this we can actually have them on the back here and then just turning so now we get a little more space 
from the back, so it doesn't really connect on the same elevation here. If we think about this, think about the way, add full blocks here in the middle, this, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna be the bathroom. So I'm gonna add full blocks here, this is gonna be a bedroom. I'm gonna keep it as it is, and I'm gonna add glass here in the bedroom, so we can have a little bed here and just lining up and looking at the sky or stars or whatnot. In the bathroom, I'm just gonna add some light. And here on top, why not maybe add two levers or something and have that as a little antennas. From the side, we have this shape going. From above, we should be having this shape going. So as you can see, window, beacons for light or glowstone if you're on survival and don't want to waste any beacons. Windows, double window, and some beacons or glowstone and two antennas, just because we can. Now let's go on the inside. We're gonna start off with the bathroom because everybody loves their imaginary dumps, all right? And you know what? I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna change this wall to, to brown stained clay because it's gonna be a bit lighter here, I guess. I don't know. So let's do this like that. In the bathroom, I'm gonna be using some chisel quartz blocks for flooring. I'm gonna place it all the way here. And here in this little corner, I'm just gonna place a coarse slab just because we can, all right? Here, I'm gonna place a divider using white stained window penises, and there's gonna be a little shower unit. So grab maybe a trip wire hook, just because we can, and place it here, like that. Here, we're gonna have a little sink using a hooper and a lever. You know, simple, but yet pretty nice looking. Here, we can have a poopy chair using a hooper hopper and maybe a trap door with a little button, so you don't forget to flush. A painting over here, Just find the correct one, just find the correct one, don't worry about it. We need to, there we go, perfect. Look at this. I mean, it's very simple, but yet again, quite functional. We can even build a little toilet paper thingy over here. And to do that, place a wooden button on the wall, an item frame, and a quartz pillar, and then just twist it into that shape. Bam, bada, beep, imaginary toilet paper, brown stained clay, close that off, and there's gonna be our bedroom. So we got a bathroom over here, bedroom over here. For the bedroom floor, I'm gonna go with, pop, 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 you know what, let's go white wool, just because we can. So let's add it here, all the way in this area, and take it out one block over here. So there we go, bathroom, bedroom. In between that, we kinda need a door. We don't really need a door, but it kinda looks cool with that door. So add a door, otherwise the poopy smells will come out. And now, let's do the bedroom. And let's start with the bed. I'm gonna be using some full blocks of spruce auda planks, just like that. For the duvet, white wool carpet. For the little pillows, just maybe a few layers, no, that is just too much. Two layers of snow caps. Pretty amazing. Around the bed, I'm gonna be placing some signs. So sign here, sign here, and sign all the way around it like that. That kind of looks pretty pretty nice. We're gonna add maybe here, or you know what? Let's add this first. A little shelving unit just above here, like that. A bookshelf here, and then let me just grab, is that a slab? There's a coarse slab. A little slab unit over here with a little flower pot, just to make it look real cozy. If you're playing this on a survival scenario, just use normal beds, all right? This is just kind of derpy for me. Here on this wall, just add some simple painting maybe. Could even add a little TV up here. That kind of looks kind of awesome, but there's a little painting which kind of represents like a like a distorted TV picture or something. No, no, ooh, it's mixy time. There we go. So this can be a little TV in the bedroom and on the wall, maybe just a little torch just because we can. There we go. Pretty simple. Here, you can actually divide this up. So let's do this. Let's divide it like that and let's place some doors as well. Not that we need them, but it's kind of just for the privacy, I guess. Kind of looks derp here, but you got my point. We got the doors, we got a little simple bedroom, we got the bathroom back here. Mm-hmm. Now let's get on and do the kitchen. What goes for the floor in here is really hard to pick. You know what? I thought maybe lime could work. But then I'm gonna combine it with a cha-cha. It kinda still works, to be honest. Or we could just use orange stained clay. Nah, you know what? Let's go. Let's be brave. Let's use lime. But as I told you guys, you can use whatever block you prefer. 
I'm gonna go lime because I can. And you know what? We can actually take it out all the way to the front. There we go. So now we got a lime flooring here and let's start adding some stuff. We can have a little seating area here. So and let's add two benches or two seats over here with maybe some, some signs as, as armrests. In between that, maybe a trapdoor, a little table design and kind of works out, I guess. Full block of achacha here. Uh, did we have any bookshelf? Yes, add a bookshelf over here with a trapdoor on top just for design features, right? We can have a flower pot here. Here we can just add an item frame maybe with an, I don't know, an anvil looking upside down like this maybe and a sign in that just for little like shelf units. You know what? I still think it looks pretty decent, I guess. On this side over here, we can have a little fridge. So let me see. Iron. Let's pick up some Eden blocks. So it's gonna be a fridge and freezer or whatnot. A cha cha stairs here. Trapdoor, trapdoor. And a cha cha here. Then maybe two full blocks in this area over here. Below here, two full blocks of a cha cha. And this over here. Kinda works out, guys. Alright. Then we pick up maybe a hooper hopper. This can be our little sink unit in a little RV. So we got a sink here. We can grab the white carpet over here. Just put that as a little countertop, I guess. And let's do the same design with the little cupboards here. So as you can see, we got the anvils in all of them. Then we just put these signs in front of them. It looks like, it looks like this. We could add even a little handle on the fridge, but I don't think that's needed. On those two up here, we basically do the same. But those maybe we can twist upside down because they kind of open from this up. Just to RP to the max, I guess. There we go. So then we got those. In this corner over here, we can place black stained thingy. This can be, a, I don't know, a dishwasher maybe or even a, an oven. An oven. It can be an oven. So let me just see here. What do we need an oven? Uh, cyan. There we go. Something simple and a countertop on top of that. Now, a flower pot. You know what? I kind of like that flower, so let me just grab that and a flower pot to place over here. Bam. Very simple, but you know what? It still pretty much works out. We can add more shelving units up here, and since that is slabs and stairs, in survival scenarios, you can just place chests or whatnot, and it's gonna look pretty amazing anyhow. But there we go. You know what? No. Let's do something, something here. Let's add some quartz thingies. Let's start about maybe here. Let's add those in that little shape. Jump away about to here maybe. Oops. Like this. And then maybe add a little, I don't know, a little carpet design decoration feature or whatnot. Still looks pretty decent, I guess. And when it comes to the front here, we need a little driving seat. So you know what? Let's use let's use a cha cha as well for that. So a cha cha armrest, just because we can. We got an item frame here, and in that we're gonna put a, doo -doo 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 -doo, a black disc, because that is our steering steering wheel. Maybe some carpet in here as well. So let's pick up some ba -ba 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 black carpet, and then just put the carpet here. Very simple, kind of semi derp, but we love it. Trap door. A little shelving unit for the driver. He can have his map or whatnot up here. And just to divide that up a bit, I'm gonna use this method. I'm gonna place an upside down stair and then just take it out to here. So that's gonna be a little, I don't know, you come in and hello, hello. We have stuff here, a little painting maybe over here. No, no. And there we go, a lime, finally, perfect. A torch over here maybe and just to divide this up a bit I'm just gonna use some black stained window penises and then just do a little shape here so you know a little meet and greet area we got a driver over here you come in here we can have some stuff over here and be all happy about it we got the door we can even put out the disc you can hang your clothes or whatnot you know what it is simple but it still works and it looks absolutely amazing DRV DRV of RVs outside here I'm just gonna do a little simple thing all right I'm gonna pick up just because this video is getting pretty long I guess so let me see I'm gonna use a lever here and a lever over here all right then I'm gonna pick up some string 
like this and I'm gonna also pick up some maybe white carpet mixed with some brown carpet just because we can all right and I'm gonna put this string here in the middle like this and then maybe add brown carpet here just on top of that let me see there's six blocks in between right so we can have maybe this shape going so brown white brown brown white brown and then we can have a little thing going out here as a little resting spot maybe something like this you know just a little resting place just to get some character to this place and this is dirt simple just some string carpet above those levers a little modern carpet design a little grass and bushes and whatnot and we got this really i hope everybody enjoyed this it was a bit longer than the normal but hey this place is pretty big it's like a house well kind of it's a house on wheels right so if we just check the inside we get the driver place here we get the kitchen a little sitting area over here we get the bedroom with the tv up here and we got the bathroom for your imaginary dump needs and your imaginary shower needs everybody if you did enjoy this please hit the like button it makes me very very happy and uh, it just makes me happy and kind of i really do appreciate it everybody so thank you so so much if you do that other than that leave a comment if you build this post some pics to my twitters and there's a link in the description i'm gonna be very happy to see if you guys build this or not so until next time happy building potato heart keralis over and out Better, 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 better.